Before we learn how to start building and modifying instruments in contact, it's good to have the big picture, an overview of how an instrument is constructed in contact. So this lesson and the next two will show you the building blocks of the instrument, the signal flow of the audio through the instrument, and some of the things that we can do with modulators and scripts. Now everything begins with a sample. The sample is an audio file that comes from your disk, and it occasionally has additional data, but basically it's just the sound, and it can be a WAV file, an AIF or AIFF file, or a REX file. Now, we package these samples into things called zones, and a zone contains some additional information about the sample. The zone contains information about what keys trigger the sample, the velocity needed, how hard I hit the key to trigger a sample, and so forth. And every sample must be packaged into a zone. Now, zones are packaged into groups. Every instrument has at least one group, but you'll probably divide your zones into multiple groups. And the reason you may want to do that is to treat the groups separately, for example, adding different effects to different groups, or to do things like key switching, where we switch between different groups using a key on our keyboard like this trumpet instrument. I'm playing my sustain group, and I'm going to use a key switch to switch to my staccato group. Now this is a forte piano group. So by using a key switch, I can switch among all of these different groups each one of which I can treat separately with different effects, different reverb, and so forth. So that's a good reason to divide your samples or your zones into groups. And we'll spend a lot of time showing you many other reasons why we want to do this. Now to edit groups, we use the group editor. To edit the audio, we can use a wave editor and do a lot of things with the audio without having to leave contact. And to set up which keys and which velocities trigger our zones, we use the mapping editor. Once we've set up our audio and our zones and mapped them and set up our groups, there are a few additional things that we can do under instrument options, such as setting up the graphic that goes behind the instrument, the icon that's associated with the instrument, how controllers work with the instrument, and so forth. And to do these things, we use the instrument editor. The highest level structure in contact is called the multi. A multi has at least one instrument, but it can have up to 64 instruments. And each one of these instruments can be assigned to different MIDI channels, or you can have multiple instruments triggered from the same MIDI channel. Remember, each one of these instruments has its own groups and zones and mappings and effects and so forth. And then at the multi level, we can route the output of each of these instruments to different outputs on our audio interface. So just to review, we started with a sample, combined it into a zone, we combined multiple zones into something called a group, we combined multiple groups into an instrument, and multiple instruments into, you guessed it, a multi. There's a lot of room to modify an instrument at each one of these levels, and we'll be talking about that in our later lessons.